Hey, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Manor Road Studio, home of the Alive Podcast. And obviously, we're not in the studio tonight. Matter of fact, we're in Orange Beach, Alabama, uh, sitting in a condo with the ocean to my back. Uh, so you may be able to hear the waves or even hear the kids playing. Chris is sitting behind the camera over here, letting me do all the work tonight, which is okay. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate that. Um, we decided uh, tonight to share a blog that I wrote back in August of 2016 called The Clearance Rack of Life. And I think once I read it, you'll understand why we chose that to share, especially on this channel. You know, what we keep reemphasizing that ALIVE stands for Authenticity, Love, Imagination, Victor, and Evolve. And this podcast will really help you start finding ways to evolve your life to a higher level. So I'm just going gonna, gonna to read to you so uh, it won't be like a, a, a normal charismatic uh, podcast, but I really believe if you pay attention and give me about five minutes of your time that you'll get a lot of value out of it. So here we go. You are not some discounted item on the clearance rack waiting for some bargain shopper to pick you up. People tend to place the same value in our lives that we place on ourselves. Increase the value of your life and stop giving others discounts. You are not, nor will you ever be, a markdown item. Do you wonder how we ever get to the clearance rack anyway? If we stay with the analogy of retail, it is because we didn't sell. Why does something not sell? It is either poor marketing or an item that has little to no value in the first place. Some would even say that as an item ages, it loses its value. Considering we are God's greatest miracle and that we are as unique as the snowflake, that, my friends, places us on the same playing field as a high-end, one-of-a-kind portrait worth millions. We're not some reprint manufactured in bulk to drive down the price. So this begs the question, where and why does our value decrease anyway? Years of environmental conditioning has helped in driving down our price. It is my goal today to get you off the discount rack and into the highly respected, very rare, in-demand, heavily guarded picture window part of the store. The only way we will ever appreciate the worth God placed in us from birth is when we start loving who we are and not agreeing or accepting the reality others have placed on us. Remember, in life, what we allow is what will continue. From this moment forward, we will never allow our lives to be on anyone's markdown rack again. Many well-meaning family and friends work to lower our price. It isn't always malicious. It's their environmental conditioning, too. I realize I'm using a silly metaphor, yet it makes sense if you think about it. It is so easy to devalue our self-worth. We do it. Others do it. Heck, life itself does it. As we grow older, we get the feeling that our lives slowly lose their value. The truth is, far from that picture I just painted, the world is a better place because you're in it. It is time you believe it. Just because others attempt to discredit your life and mark down your price does not mean it has to happen. It takes your permission to get moved to the sale rack. What makes you valuable? You do. The wonderful, amazing, beautiful, awesome person you see in the mirror is the one and only one that drives your final price. The same person that has all the dents, dings, wrinkles, and blemishes is the same person that is worth millions. Yes, your life has so much more value than you ever thought possible. You are not some cheap spinoff of someone else. You are you the rarest and most amazing person God ever created. Live your life as though you believe it. In order for your value to reach its maximum height, you must help others reach theirs. No longer will you devalue the lives of others. You will help them to get off the clearance track as well. In closing, consider how you value or view a dirty, homeless person walking the street. Somewhere in his or her journey through life, someone started marking down their price. 
little by little, their value eroded. And now we, yes you, view them as a human public nuisance. It is that thinking that also drives down your price. God needs us all to be an expression of love. We can change the world in which we live by, simply changing the way we price our lives and those of whom we come in contact. No matter how low you are, no matter how hopeless life may seem, you are in fact the greatest person in your life today. Your body is your home, and it is all you have. It has been through vicious storms, terrible droughts, horrific famines, yet it's still standing. Why? Because you were created for accomplishment. You were endowed with the seeds of greatness. Stop living your life as some cheap knockoff, and right now work on becoming the best version of yourself possible. I think that's a really, really good blog on something worth considering. Uh, and we'll end it there. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do. It should be right below you. Uh, leave a comment. Hit the like button. Share it with your family and friends. Uh, find us on Facebook, Dale Childress, Manor Road Studio, Alive. We're everywhere. We want to hear from you. Um, and we look forward to doing another one tomorrow night. We might do another one of the blogs that was written many years ago.